There are creatures on this planet that see without eyes, move without muscles, and survive without the one organ we believe life depends on. A creature that lives with no brain at all. Meet the sea sponge. It doesn't walk, it doesn't hunt, it has no nerves, no organs, not even a single neuron. And yet, it is alive. Older than dinosaurs, older than trees, older than almost every living thing on Earth. To understand how something can live without a brain, you need to forget everything you know about what life looks like. A sponge doesn't think, it doesn't react. It exists as a living filter, a body built from tiny pores and channels that pull water in and send it out. Inside those channels are millions of microscopic cells, each one doing a job normally handled by organs. Some cells pump water like a heart, some digest food like a stomach, some sense chemicals like a nervous system. The sponge doesn't have a brain because its entire body acts like one. And here's the strange part. If you blend a sea sponge into a liquid, completely breaking it apart into thousands of individual cells, it can reassemble itself. The cells find each other, reconnect, rebuild, and within hours, the sponge becomes whole again. This shouldn't be possible, but it happens. Because a sponge is not a single creature. It's a colony, a community of living cells working together without a leader, without a command center, without a brain. And it's not the only one. Jellyfish can survive after losing their entire nervous system. Slime molds can solve mazes with no neurons at all. Life, it turns out, doesn't need a brain to behave intelligently. It just needs cooperation. So the next time you imagine what life can be, remember the creature that thinks with its body, rebuilds itself from nothing, and has survived for hundreds of millions of years without ever having a brain.